Chicken here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over a couple things. We're going to be taking a look at this uh, remote hack ability, what we can do with it, what we can't do with it, and we're also going to be using the chicken's newest tribal-oriented uh, favorite strategy, and that is going to be all heavies. These guys are absolute monsters, guys. So, And we're also going to be going for, potentially, hopefully, a um, Gunboat Energy World Record here. So... Let's dive into everything and see what we can do. So we got all the heavies, we got them with the speed, and then we got this hack thing. So the hack is going to work on literally every single building except for, you see right there, the shock launcher does shoot the other thing, but uh, it's, it's not going to work for the HQ. Stuff's not going to turn around and start shooting the HQ, unfortunately. But that being said, guys, using all heavies with these speed boosts has just been like unbelievably strong. So. Basically, the idea is, maybe we'll dive into some player-based stuff next, but uh, more or less, the idea has been, hack two shock launchers, away you go. That's it. You just throw the heavies out, they crush everything, their, their speed boost is absolutely ridiculous, and uh, yeah, so, we also have the uh, the Gunboat Tribe has been fixed, so, look at all those hacks, uh, the Gunboat Tribe has been fixed, so now it says 175% Gunboat Energy, so what that means is, Instead of destroying a building and getting 3 GB back, we now get 8 GB back, which is absolutely insane. So take a look at this. So we'll throw one artillery here, and uh, we get 115. Okay, so that wasn't a good example, but we'll throw a barrage in here, and 105 we get... Uh, is the machine going to go down? Okay, well, whatever. We'll throw one artillery here, and for 5 GB, we get 8 GB back, guys. So that is insane. That's a lot of stuff. And that's going to uh, that's gonna accumulate over your attack as you take out uh, more defenses. So... There shouldn't really be any base that you can't take down right now. Um, that's how powerful these tribes are. They're just absolutely insane. Um, I mean, you combine this with the fact that nobody has shields right now, and it's a different game. It's a different game at the moment. Imagine if we had the... Uh, man, if we had the cheap critters too on top of this. Oh, things would be dangerous, guys. Things would be dangerous. So, stage four. Let's get, uh, let's get the speed heavies going up. Now, you can also use them like this. We've, it's just been so easy on the earlier stages to, to use them normally that uh, we've just been uh, smoking them. So we'll go like that, and then we go like this, and then we'll go flare right there, shock, uh, smoke, smoke. And then we can flare them right on the HQ. Now you see I bring bullet, and that's just to help with the splash damage stuff that's around the HQs. Um, other than that, you don't really need to bring them. So I'm going to hack the uh, the mortar right here just to get everything off of us. And look at this, guys. Like With, the, uh, with their speed boost, they do so much damage. Now, I know this doesn't look very impressive, but keep in mind they're heavy. So, unless you have shock launchers shooting at them, nothing on the beach is going to take them down right away. Uh, they're going to be able to sit on the core for a very long period of time. Uh, unless you've got, like, two microwavers and a damage amp or something crazy like that, or a bunch of grapplers pulling them away. The only thing you really have to worry about is um, shock blasters, shock launchers, doom cannons, and microwavers. Other than that, I mean, you're basically good to go. Um, so, yeah, let's get some more heavies loaded up like this. And let's get a hack going in nice and early on the shock launcher. So it's going to uh, it's gonna shock the defenses for us. It's also going to um, it's also going to take out some other defenses. We can use this boom cannon to take down this cannon for us. Uh, which isn't going to be the greatest. But, uh, but look, like, it's just so easy, man. Like, I don't know. It's, it's fun, too. Like, it's kind of a, it's a nice little break. And here's the, the other biggest thing. These are going to be the tribes, most likely, that we have for the next Mega Crab. So, a lot of stuff going on, guys. A lot of stuff going on. Um, because the crab comes the last weekend of every month, right? So, that should be May 27th, which will be this tribal period. So, how insane is that going to be? Think about that for a second. We have the heavy speed. That's going to hurt Smoky Heavy Zooka. Because your heavy is going to run much, much faster. And they're going to be harder con to control than the Zookas. But, the gunboat energy gain thing... Ooh, man, that is going to be insane. I'm at, like, throw that on top of your Scorcher tanks. Um, the only thing that sucks is that we're stuck. We don't really have great troop bonuses. We don't really have anything that's useful. Criner damage is so minimal that it's not even worth talking about. I mean, it goes from, like, 50 to, like, 70, which is nothing. Uh, a heavy does, like, 300 damage. Um, let's check that out just to be sure, but... But yeah, the crying your damage is not going to be anything, um, I mean, look, it goes 42 to 55, big whoop. Uh, the heavies do 144, uh, plus 82, so I mean, 
Like, think of it in terms of that. And, um... But yeah, we get six heavies per boat. Is it six crowns per boat? Okay, so, I mean, it is comparable, I guess, uh, to heavies, but it's just, it's so small that it's not even, like, they're, they're so squishy, too, that they're not even worth, it's not even worth thinking about, to be perfectly honest. So, let's go like this. Now, this is what I like to do to start off the attack if, um, if there is a lot of stuff in our way. Now, look at all the splash damage stuff. Now, normally, you'd be thinking, chicken, what are you doing? Like, this is never gonna work. Look at all the flamethrowers you just threw all of your troops into. But that's the beauty of heavy skies. They have so much health that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do. So we'll go like this next, just to get some uh, some stuff off of us. And we'll go like that and like that. Now, you can't park them in the flamethrowers all day long, of course, but uh, look at the look at the gunboat energy that we're going to be able to get here, guys. This is crazy. I can't even keep up with it. It's coming in so fast. Let's go ahead and throw a bunch of critters down here. And, um, and yeah, I mean... Look at the heavies that we lost there, guys. Hardly any. We lost 2, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. We lost 15 heavies there. And I still had, I had 61 GB by the time we ended up counting it all. So, oh man. It's going to be an interesting crab. I cannot wait for this mega crab just purely based on these tribes. If nothing else, if everything else but the crab stays the same, that's fine with me. Uh, so let's go like this. Let's hack that shock launcher first. Get that out of the way. Um, now, I also have not been using Bullet's um, Taunt, because you'll see with the heavy speed that he does actually run right out in front, and that's not extremely helpful for what we're trying to do here. So let's go ahead and shock this, or er, hack this boom cannon. Um, now, you see right there, we let that shock launcher hit us, and that is pretty detrimental. Um, as soon as the shock launcher starts landing down on the heavies, that's when you're going to really run into some problems. So we'll go like this, and uh, hopefully take down this cannon right here. And we'll go with a shock right on top of this shock launcher. Let's go with the taunt right about now. Um, and we should be able to... We might be able to pull this out, guys. We don't have any heavies left. But let's go ahead and uh, throw some critters down right over here. Uh, we're kind of losing a lot of heavies. So maybe this time... Okay, let's retreat that one. Now, they are very strong. But they're not perfect, guys. If you lose a lot of the heavies... The problem was there, we were getting hit by that shock launcher when we didn't realize it, and uh, we were just getting picked off left and right by all those cannons, so... Um, if the base is a little bit harder, here's what you can do. Turn them into smoky heavy Zooka, and that is going to be the way to do it, guys. So we're going to go like this. First off, I'm going to take down the shock launcher over here, and then for 20 GBE, I can take down the one on the left with another hack, but it's actually going to, uh, it's going to cost us less GBE to, I think, just use barrage and artillery. So, uh, 20... We use 10, 3, and 5. That's 8. Oh, okay, never mind. Checking was way off in that one, guys. We used, like, 12 more GBE than, uh, than uh, was necessary. But at the same time, we're going to get 8, 16, maybe even 24. Uh, okay, we're going to get 16 GBE back. So pay no attention to the chicken's math skills, guys. But either way, let's go like this. Let's get them all sucked up right about here. And now that we have no shock launchers on us, you're, we're going to be able to see the difference here. So... Uh, remember what we said before, that it doesn't really matter, uh, your shock timing or anything with the heavies, it's not really going to be a huge deal. Uh, it's not like a make or break, like if you miss your shocks with Zookas. Because they're going to be, they're going to be standing here for a very long time, right? They're not just going to be going down right away. Uh, so let's go like this, and like this. And we got all the time in the world right here, guys. So we'll get a couple, uh, we'll get one health pack going there. Let's get another taunt going off here, just like this. And we'll just sit back, just relax, and do... Just let the heavies go to work here. I don't think we really have much to worry about. Um, sure, there's machine guns and, and mortars pummeling into us, but look at the health that these guys have. They're they're like elephants, guys. They're like those big woolly mammoths with the huge tusks. They just stand there. They don't care. They, they're just going to stand there. They're going to watch. Sure, take all the splash damage you want. Stage 7 goes down. Back, back, back. So that is the woolly mammoth strategy, guys. Um... Yeah, I mean, they're incredibly strong. The speed boost is insane. I love these tribes. I love the hack thing. Uh, I think it's great. Now, I did hear also a lot of people complaining about these tribes making the game too good. And um, I understand that. And, like, I don't know, man. I don't know what the answer is. But uh, it's, it's fun to have them be changed up. But it definitely does, like, um, make the game not the way it used to be. But let me know what you think of the tribes down below in the comments, guys. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Let me know that down below in the comments below, guys. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Check it out. Bye -bye.